Welcome to Pocus Geek. In the next few videos, we're going to discuss point of care ultrasound in relation to the gallbladder and how to use ultrasound in the diagnosis of cholecystitis. We need to remember that cholecystitis is a clinical diagnosis, but there are sonographic findings that can help us diagnose that more easily. Um, the findings that we're going to discuss in later videos can be applied to different types of cholecystitis, but right now we're going to review the pathophysiology of cholecystitis caused by a calculus or stone and understand how that occurs. And then when we get down to the scanning sequence, it will make more sense of why we focus on certain areas in order to, to have certain findings to support uh, what we are asking our surgical colleagues to do at times or for the treatment and care of our patients. So what we see here are the structures of the biliary system. And where we're going to focus, where we have a lot of pathophysiology happen, pathophysiology happen with uh, stones is in the common bile duct. And what we're going to focus today is whether they're in the cystic duct or the neck. And that's typically going to read, lead to cholecystitis if they're impacted there. And we're going to review that pathophysiology. So it could be one single stone or multiple stones in the gallbladder. But what happens is one would have to get stuck here in the gallbladder neck or anywhere along the cystic duct system. And that will lead to, can lead to cholecystitis if it's impacted there. So what happens is that as bile comes down from the liver and goes to be stored in the gallbladder, that stone that's stuck there is essentially released a little bit sufficiently enough that bile is able to seep around it and fill the gallbladder. As the gallbladder fills, that bile is able to be stored, but then the gallbladder goes to contract whenever we eat the foods requiring those bile acids. And it tries to contract and release those enzymes for us to help di with digestion. However, since that stone stuck in the neck or the cystic duct, it just further impacts it there and it can't be moved and it it can't seep around it. It doesn't, the pressure that's forced upon it shoves it further down into the cystic duct, which is the opposite of when it comes from the liver because it releases that and that's why it's able to seep around. Now, as that stone is stuck there and this continue is allowed to continue to fill, but not able to release any of that bile enzymes, the gallbladder becomes more and more dilated and has more and more stasis. As it becomes more and more dilated, there becomes to be increased hydrostatic pressures inside of it. And that stasis leads to gallbladder wall inflammation, which ultimately will allow for enteric bacteria to seep into the wall and cause infection and further inflammation. And we can also see fluid surrounding the gallbladder, um, whether it be from inflammation from bacteria or from the inflammation of just occurring from the impacted stone. And this is why we're going to focus when we get down to it of ultrasound, we're going to focus on essentially all along the cystic duct, trying to define the gallbladder neck and the cystic duct. We will look at the entire gallbladder and look for stones. We'll identify the common bile duct and go over those. But if a stone stuck in the neck, and we don't have other findings of cholecystitis, that's very concerning that over the next few hours that cholecystitis will develop for a patient. So we need to be very thorough in scanning this area. And it's not always obvious. So that's why we went over this pathophysiology so we understand the importance of that and what we're going to be looking for on ultrasound. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email at pocusgeek at gmail.com or go ahead and comment below. I do try to respond to those. Um, I hope that you found this useful and we'll continue to watch the next video in which we're going to talk about the scanning technique, um, an approach that I use to uh, when I look at the gallbladder looking for cholecystitis. Uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free to shoot me an email or comment below. Thanks for watching.